Stone Sour is like a little more, not toned down, but it's Sexy. you. It's a, it's a sexier you. Yeah, yeah. It's you a, can feel the boobs on it. Yeah, it's yeah. good times. Yeah, like we think maybe <laughs> maybe he cries. I don't know. Like that was. He, I think I think Corey Taylor cries. Well, you can definitely smell my balls on it. Like it's not good. Oh wait, are we on the air? Are we good? It's recorded, doesn't so really you can matter. actually say hey, whatever you really want. Matter. Balls is a medical term, so it doesn't really matter. Did you rub your balls on all the copies before they have. hit shelves? I might have. I mean, they're special editions anyway. I mean, Somebody once told me that all, and this is, a, I cannot believe, but it's not airing. Somebody said that all guys, their balls smell like tacos. <laughs> That's uh, not true. Dude, if I, if I had a taco I mean, that smelled like that... I would never eat tacos. I'm hanging again. out with the wrong people. Oh my god! <laughs> well, it does smell. Tacos earlier, it, there maybe. is like a, a hint of like wood chips in there, though. It's weird. Maybe that's just mine. I don't know. I don't know. Only when I shave it, though. So there you go. So you're clean shaven. This is the, listen. This is the, Barbara I'm Walters smooth. can smooth as herself. Eggs. This is the interview right here. We're talking about Corey Taylor's testicles. Yeah, that's weird. I don't, know, I don't know how I feel about this. All right. So let me at least say one thing about the music. You've got two okay. albums out. Yep. Which is your favorite? Part one or part two? Uh, honestly, part two is my favorite. I mean, both of them together, I, I mean, we, we designed them specifically for the fans to load them into iTunes and then put them all in one playlist so they roll it one rolls right, right into through. the other. Exactly. But to be honest, I, I love part two because it's darker. I love part two because it's more uh, atmospheric and it's musically, it's probably some of our most complex music, you know, without straying away from what we do, which is just write really good songs. So I, I love the fact that part two moves the story and also it doesn't lose the balls, you know, to bring it back to the testicles that we were talking about earlier. You know, you know. the clean shaven testicles, yes. it adds to the opera, <laughs> op, the rock opera of the whole There's entire thing. There's nothing better than a pair of bald Irish nuts. See, that, see, that will right? be the name of the Broadway show, the opera, oh, yeah. Bald a Irish pair of Nuts. Bald Irish Nuts, That's a, a Stone idea. Sour musical. That's there a good go. idea. So with both albums, are you guys, when you're on the road now, are you going to do double the tour? Like, do you have to do more stuff? I mean, do you feel like you have to give the, the fans double what you normally would give? Because you got two albums, you got to support them both. Well, we're, we're trying to mix it up, you know? I mean, right it. now, we're, uh, we, we've are we added a little bit from both albums, plus a bunch of songs that, you know, from the, the from the first three and whatnot. So it's uh it's a good mix it's a good blend especially for you know doing a tour like this i gotta ask you are you gonna pop out on stage with any of the bands here tonight because uh, we've got pod i mean I we've got some know. nice i don't know maybe when we if you if anybody unless you're an alien and you live on another planet if you're on youtube you enter Corey taylor's name <laughs> he is doing a fucking cover he's on you know i feel like you will jump out on stage with somebody today and if not, now you kind of have to. I, I haven't. On this okay, let me set the records. I haven't been asked to jam anything with anybody if, if right Gavin now. If Gavin Rosdale asked you to come out topless to do a Bush topless. song, would you? <laughs> He's Nobody wants topless. to see me take my shirt off. What are you nuts? No, no, no. It's bad. All right. Standing I have hair <laughs> growing out of places that. It's not cool. I gotta stare at this man's crack all night, basically. <laughs> I mean, Jesus. You wanna stare at a crack? I mean, seriously. That. You're standing Thanks. next to Gavin Rosdale singing Glycerine. He's, you know, That's the thing is, he's 10 years older than I am, and he's in better shape than I've ever been, he's, which is sad. When he walks into the room, you just stare at him, and you're gazing I'm like way, I'm, I'm way too much of a fan of fried chicken that I, I just, I don't care anymore, you know? I was like, screw it. We love women with curves, so you got hey, it. Hey, I got some, you know, I got some... Got some bass in my ass. All right, you guys are going to be hitting um, our main stage at 5:55. I'm going to bring you guys out, so I'll make sure that everyone's full All right, on. Right, don't don't mess it up. Insanity. Don't Hell mess it up. No, I will Teresa, not. Don't don't mess I'm it not. up. All right. I'm not. I'm not only your biggest Twitter stalker, but I'm like the biggest <laughs> fan. So I have That's to. That's right. We follow each other. On we Twitter. follow each other we on do. Twitter, Absolutely. and you're you're like my claim to fame. People are like, "Oh my God, do you know that Corey Taylor follows you?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, <laughs> duh. Why wouldn't he?" Well, you know, Thanks for that. I follow all the weird people. So I know. See, I, well, Queen I, I of it give here. you Exhibit A right there. Okay, my last question I have to ask you, and I've asked everybody this. Briefs. <laughs> wait, 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 my second question. Boxer briefs. That I wanted yes. to ask you. So when we're on the radio, like a DJ, like my big nightmare is that ongoing where I'm in the studio and the song's ending and I can't get it to start and it's dead air and like everything's melting. And, and you're the, naked. You're yeah, naked absolutely. and you can't get the song to start. You gotta have a dream like that. That's reoccurring. That you always have like that frontman nightmare. No. You don't because have it at all. No, because everything that could possibly happen, I've already done. 
So uh, you just get used to it. You just laugh it off, you know? I mean, the, the great thing about a live show is that it's live, you know? If you want to hear something perfect, you listen to the album. You know, the great thing about a live show is that anything could happen. I can't tell you how many times I've gone out on stage with, like, the hiccups or something, and I can't stop laughing, and I've messed up so many songs. Like, it's, it is what it is, you know? It makes that show special, you yeah. know? So, yeah, I, I don't worry about anything. I mean, I mean, the worst thing that could happen is that the crotch rips out on my pants or something, and then people Which I've see Which way I've more of me than it. Yeah, awesome. it's, it's bad. It's yeah, it's not. Well, I mean, I wear underwear and whatever, but. Not that day. It's, well, okay, there was that day. Shut up, man. <laughs> you just kind of have to laugh it off. I mean, if you take this stuff too seriously, it's going to drive you nuts, man. I mean, the whole reason we're here is to entertain the people. And if you yep. can't enjoy yourself, that are not going to enjoy themselves. Well, do you, you know? ever have the nightmare that you're in high school and you can't remember your locker combination? Like, do you still go to that? I'm so, I, all I heard was leather and donation. That's all I heard. I, I, th was that right? Do you ever have the nightmare where you're in high school and you can't, like, remember your locker combination? I have nightmares on back in high school. Yeah? That sucked. Yeah, high school sucked. <laughs> You know what? And then you, I wake up and I'm like, oh, thank God, I'm 35. I forgot. Oh. I was going to ask you this, and I, you made me remember it, that on stage anything can happen. The last time you were in Houston was obviously on a Slipknot show, but days before is when you passed out. I think it was in Dallas. Yeah, it was the next day. What the, the hell day. happened? Yeah. Was that crazy? Um, Well, Texas happened. Heat, I mean, just humidity. super hot. Swampy. And, uh, yeah, yeah, thanks. Swampy. I don't remember that show. I, I don't remember the last half of that show. It was brutal, but... uh. I woke up, they hydrated me, I, I, I had an oxygen on my face, and I was like, oh my God, what the hell? But I'm fine, you know, it's all good. It's uh, it's just part of being in Slipknot, man. You, the, you're gonna go, <laughs> you never know when you're just gonna go down. I you mean, know? you so. can like bring it back next time and do fur jumpsuits and make it even worse on yourself. Oh yeah, furry, you know? yeah, yeah, just wear some, some like terry cloth jumpsuits, that'd be great. Well, thank you guys for coming up here. It's an honor to talk to you, and I can't oh, wait no to bring worries. you guys on, and we're very very happy to have you guys on our bill oh, we're here. We're stoked. So. We're absolutely stoked. Are you guys here. ready? Thanks, everyone. All right. Stoked Sour taking the main stage at 555. I want to thank these guys for hopping up with us, and uh, we'll see you guys there. Thank you.